Hey kids, welcome. Today we will learn long division. Here we have 417 as dividend and 4 as divisor. Now let's take the first digit of the dividend. Here it is 4 and divisor is also 4. So here we will find the equal or smaller number than 4 in table of 4. It is 4 ones are 4. So 1 as quotient we will write and 4 we will write under 4 and subtract it and we will get the answer 0. Now the next digit is 1. So we will bring it down from the dividend but as you all know that in table of 4 we cannot found 1. So we will write here 4 zeros are 0. Now 0 as a quotient and we will write 0 under 1 and when we will subtract we will get again 1. Now let us bring down the next digit from the dividend that is 7. So when we will bring it down beside 7 it will form the number 17. Let us find out the equal or lesser number than 17 in table of 4. Its 4 4s are 16. After subtracting 16 we will get 1. But 1 is less than the divisor so our question ends here. Do not forget to write quotient and remainder when our sum gets over. There is another method to do the same sum. Let's find out. Here we are taking the same dividend and divisor. Now again take the first digit of the dividend that is 4. We have to find out the equal or smaller number than 4 in the table of 4 which is our divisor. That is 4 ones are 4. When we will subtract 4 ones are 4 we will get 0. Now let us bring down 1 but we cannot subtract 1 from 4 but it is a rule that at a time we can only bring one digit from dividend down but to move further we need more digit so what we can do is we will put 0 in the quotient and bring digit 7 beside 1 so we have 17 here and 10 in the quotient in table of 4 we have to find equal or lesser number than 17 it is 4 4s are 16. So we will write 4 in the quotient and 16 down to subtract it. After subtracting 16 from 17 we have got 1 now. Here no more digits are left in the dividend. And left number is also smaller than the divisor. So it is the remainder now. Here we have seen two methods but we have found that quotient and remainder is same. But in the second method we have missed one step so we have put 0 in the quotient. Now let us verify whether our division sum is right or wrong. To verify this we have this formula dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Now insert the values in it. Here our dividend is 417, divisor is 4. Quotient is 104 and we have to add remainder 1 in it. First of all multiply 104 by 4 and then add 1 in that. You will get the answer 416 plus 1. After adding 1 in 416 we have got the answer 417. Now our dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So both the sides are equal. That means our sum is right. If the number written at the both sides are equal, then at the end we will write hence verified because our sum is right. But if the number is different at one of the sides, that means we need to check our division sum. So today we have learned the long division and how to verify it.